everyone, Elizabeth Hardy here. If you have a couple of minutes, I have a story to tell you. I recently received an invitation to the Mayo Clinic Biobank, and I bet you're asking the same question I did. What is the Mayo Clinic Biobank, and why did I get invited to it? Now, it's not a bank that you go and deposit money in, and it's not a blood bank. So I figured I should go talk to somebody at the Biobank. So I approached Janet Olson. Here, I'll show you what our video was. The Mayo Clinic Biobank is a collection of blood samples and information that comes from the medical record and questionnaires. And the intent is to recruit 30,000 subjects from Mayo Clinic patients. So far we have about 20,000 20, samples in hand and 23,000 people recruited. So our goal for 2012 is to get to 30,000 people consent into the Biobank. The vast majority of people who are in the Biobank came to us because they were scheduled to have an appointment in one of our main departments, um, general internal medicine, family medicine, OB-GYN, um, community internal medicine. So when they come for their general exams, nothing specific to any one disease, we then send a packet to them at their home and ask them to think about providing a sample and, and participating in the biobank. If you participate in the biobank, we would ask you to provide a simple blood draw. And it's very, very simple. If you are having a blood sample drawn for your physician, we try to time it with that same blood draw so that it doesn't require two needle sticks, but just the one. It's the day of my physical. So in addition to the labs that the doctor will order, the phlebotomist is going to draw four or five extra vials of blood for my biobank deposit. I don't think you need to see this. Uh, the main purpose for the biobank was then to have this collection that researchers could, could come to us and request, say, 500, 1,000, 2,000 samples and, and information that they could use then in their research that would allow them to do their research much more efficiently and effectively. So here's how the Mayo Clinic Biobank works. Let's say I'm a Mayo Clinic researcher who has a great idea for a treatment or a cure for a disease. I already have 250 patients who have the disease. Now I need 250 people to act as a control group. Now, in the past, before the biobank, it could have taken me months to recruit all those people and it delayed my research. And maybe after a year, I'd be able to start my research project. Now with the biobank, I get my research study approved by IRB. I go to the biobank and ask them for 250 control samples. And if it's approved three weeks later, I get the 250 samples delivered to me and I'm ready to start my research. And that's how the Mayo Clinic Biobank works for our researchers. The physical location of the Biobank is really not in one place. Um, the samples are stored over in Stabile. Um, they're kept in the Biospecimen Accessioning and Processing Laboratory. There are a lot of really cool freezers that had to be bought because of this project, because the number of samples that we have, well, being 20,000 people, that means a lot more aliquots. That's like 45, I think, per patient. That's a lot of tubes. Somebody would want to participate in the biobank because it's a way to allow research at Mayo Clinic to move forward and to do it in a very um, useful way. There are many studies that um, simply can't go to everybody to recruit you. But if you go into the biobank, that allows researchers to still use you for studies um, and, and know that, that you're helping a lot, of, a lot of different studies to take place. It's not just one, it's not just two, but numerous studies can take place because of the biobank. Well, this brings us to the end of my story. I hope you've learned something about the biobank. I've learned that as a participant, I don't put cash into this biobank. It's not that kind of bank. But what is stored in there is priceless. It's a resource for our researchers to use to find treatments and cures for diseases for our patients. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.